The other one uh, we'll be looking at today is our oven rider palette. These are used in uh, reflow oven verification and uh, can be uh, very helpful in, in determining or troubleshooting uh, certain oven issues. And so we can uh, pop over to map software now and we'll begin with the oven rider palette which is pictured here in our uh, sample oven rider environment and you'd only want to use this environment if you're using it in conjun conjunction with this palette. And so if we take a look at one of our profiles that we've downloaded from an oven rider run, you can see here the ambient temperatures um, rise very quickly, whereas the process sensors, the round pucks that are, are um, placed across the width of the palette, uh, are designed to never really saturate in temperature. And so that's where these are displayed here on the graph. Our oven rider tab is next to our KPI tab in the bottom left, and that shows specific values that are generated by the oven rider palette. And we'll take a look at how uh, those can, can be useful in uh, verifying how well your oven is, is heating uh, your products. And so Basically, uh, just starting off here, the oven ambient, these are uh, figures for each sensor, A through C, uh, just beginning at your process origin temperature, basically when you first put it into the oven, or the very beginning of zone one. Um, and we have the peak average temperature as well, which is the average temperature um, from the peak zone or the highest where your process reached the highest temperature within that zone it's the average of that and our uh, moving over to our oven process these are our process sensors we uh, can get an entire um, temperature delta for our uh, for our oven process which is basically the temperature change from in the process sensors from the beginning of zone one all the way to uh, their peak temperature at the end of uh, zone five in this example. And so that will be displayed for you here for each sensor across the zones. And so it's very helpful to see if, you know, um, if, for example, if your oven is heating unevenly or, or it's leaking heat on the left hand side, that'll be very apparent in, in these measures here. And so we also have the peak process temperatures for those, those round puck sensors we were talking about earlier. And the time above and time between figures here are um, numbers or values basically that are entered when you create a new oven writer environment. And these values are for the process sensors themselves, which, uh, like I mentioned, they, they never saturate. They're designed to never saturate in, in temperature throughout the entire oven run. And so um, these are, are uh, customizable uh, values for temperature, which you would enter in and when you create an oven rider environment. And you would want to enter values much lower than, uh, say, your, your solder paste specification, for example, since those uh, process sensors are never going to fully saturate to your, to your set point or to the ambient temperature there. And so uh, basically, these are this is a time above value in seconds for the amount of um, or for the temperature value that you entered in, as well as a, a time between for a range of temperatures that you enter in when you create the oven rider environment. It'll also display your uh, conveyor speed here, which uh, can be modified by double clicking on the pink box in the top right if you need to um, change that slightly from the, the thermal data that you've downloaded uh, to get that to match up with your, your machine information. Um, we also have the, the, it's going to list the number of zones for you and the internal temperature of the mole, the profiler, just to make sure that's not getting too hot. Um, some of the really valuable information is in this lower table here where this average temperature for each of the, um, each of the ambient sensors across the, uh, the width of the palette 
are displayed. And this is the ambient base average of the center 70% of each zone. And so we basically um, ignore or disregard the outside 15% uh, on each side of a zone. Uh, to get you the most accurate information as far as how that zone is, is heating your product. And this is the 70%, center 70% of the zone, and it's the averages of all the data logs that are taken at one tenth of a second in, in the Oven Rider palette. And so it will show you that for each zone, and as well as the process delta. And these are your process sensors essentially how uh, how much they change in temperature as they uh, progress through each zone. And so you can see here process sensor A changed 36 degrees from the beginning of zone 1 to the end of zone 1, and uh, so on and so forth for the other process sensors and the other zones. Um, and it'll also display how much time the sensor spent in each zone for your um, for your oven run and so it's a it's a very handy tool like I said for uh, keeping track of of your oven uh, verifying that it's not leaking heat anywhere or also you know troubleshooting any type of convection issues with the oven